to binge eating or overeating or emotional eating, the act itself is actually easy to stop doing. If I don't want to eat things that I'm not supposed to eat or in a way that I don't like doing that, or if I'm not supposed to buy things and have it in my fridge like that, it's easy. I just stop doing it. I just don't put my hand on the cupcake. I just don't respond to the urge. I know how to stop doing it. I just don't, right? I just stop. I just don't eat the food. The act itself is easy to stop doing. If I don't grab it, if I don't bring it to my mouth, I can't eat it, right? That's not the hard part. What's hard is the feeling that we are left with when we don't respond to the impulse to do something. So if I'm sitting on my couch and I can feel the desire, the urge to get up and stand in the fridge and look for every sweet thing that I can find in there, or maybe I know there's a packet of Tim Tams in there and I'm sitting on the couch like, oh God, I want to open that packet. But I know if I do, I'm going to eat the entire thing within the next 10 minutes. I'm going to keep getting up from the couch and going back and forward to the fridge until it's all gone. Just don't open the packet, right? Just don't start. It's easy. I know if I don't open it, if I don't have one, I'm not going to have however many are in there. That's easy. But then what do I do in that moment when I decide I'm not doing it? And every part of you goes like, ah, now what do I do? Yeah. It's the feeling that we are left with that's hard to process. Not, Not doing it. It's not like, oh my God, I'm actually physically starving. I need this. It's never that. It's what do I do with this feeling that I'm left with when I don't respond to the impulse? I wonder how it feels for you. I wonder if you had to pick one word, how it feels for you in the moment that you want to do the damn thing and you don't. How does that feel? For me, like I can't even pick a word. It becomes a little bit manic. Like I just feel like everything within me starts kind of like shaking up. If you can imagine like a soft drink bottle or something and you start shaking it up and everything starts to like fizz, that's how it feels within me. And going and eating that thing would be like just releasing the lid just slightly so you can release a little bit of gas from it and goes, and all the stuff is still in there. It's all bubbling up, but you've just released the pressure on that just enough to let it all just settle until it starts to bubble up again, right? And that's how we get into that cycle. That's why the repetition begins because eventually it shakes itself up, yeah? But I know that there's a way to release the pressure. So I get up and I go to the fridge and I do the damn thing again and I release the pressure and that's how we get into that loop. So I wonder how it feels for you because I think it feels different for everybody. Usually anything to do with eating, is about having control, exercising control when you feel out of control of something, how you feel, what other people are doing. It's all about control in some way. Here's my little one, Tyson. He is the inspiration, I suppose, for what I'm sharing today. Because often when I feel compelled to overeat or eat things that I'm not supposed to, I behave like a toddler. I know it's not good for me. I know I don't want it, but I want it now. (laughs) right can you recognize that within yourself that we start to behave like toddlers our urges are like toddlers demanding a lollipop at the checkout at the supermarket but here's what I want you to know you don't actually have to comply because what did I say before we get to decide we make meaning about who and what has authority over us and as his mummy I get to decide whether I'm giving this little boy a lollipop at the checkout at the supermarket. I have authority over him at the moment. Bless him. I don't have to comply. No matter how loud he gets, no matter how overwhelming it feels in the moment that he's kicking the trolley and yelling and demanding in front of everybody, I actually don't have to comply. And I want you to really feel into what I'm sharing with you understand this analogy that I'm giving to you our demands our urges our cravings they are like angry toddlers demanding the thing that they think that they need in the moment but we actually don't have to comply just because we feel the urge we feel the desire we feel the pull 
doesn't mean that we have to comply if we know it's not in our best interest.